Greetings all and welcome back. Today we're going to take a quick look at how to scrape videos and box art for each of your games in Emulation Station on your Windows PC. For those of you that may be starting out with running some of your favorite emulated games on your PC, Emulation Station is front-end software that organizes your collection and makes it accessible in one place. It will also make it look really nice if you follow today's guide and get the box art scraped. If you're not familiar and need a guide on how to set up Emulation Station to play favorites like Mega Man and Crash Bandicoot, I will leave a link at the end of the video and in the video description if you want to check that out. Before we get to that, just wanted to add a shameless plug and kindly ask that you remember to like and subscribe if you found any value from this video, as it really helps the channel out and helps me to keep making more awesome videos like these. Thanks in advance for that. Just to give you an idea, this is how it would look before you have scraped your games. As you can see, it's pretty basic with mostly text on the screen. And this is how it would look after you've scraped your games. A very noticeable difference, is it not? I can't think of any reason why anyone would not want to do this. It looks really good when you see some images of the games and have a description to go with it. I personally also love it when the videos of gameplay run once you've selected a game. It gives you an idea of what some of the games are like if you have not played them before. And trust me, when you get into emulation you are sure to discover some new, old games. Just watch the volume, as these will play over and over and it can become irritating if you leave it on the same game without being there to change it. So on to the how to. The first thing you will need to do is register for a free account with Screenscraper on their website screenscraper.fr. You can simply click on the register link up in the top right corner under the section where you put in your username and password. This will open up a section for you to put in your preferred username and password along with the email address. Make sure to copy your username and password exactly as you will need them to complete the scraping process in Emulation Station. Once you're done registering with Screen Scraper, you're going to then open up Emulation Station and hit the start or function key on your controller or the space or sometimes the A button on your keyboard to open up the settings menu. At the top you will find the scraper option. Select this. A sub-menu will open up where you can configure the settings to scrape the art of all your games. Make sure that Screen Scraper is selected as the option in the top menu. Once this is confirmed, you can open the second option in the list and choose whether you want to scrape all games, just your favorites, or apply one-fits-all options like scraping but not including metadata, or scraping and not including images or videos. Generally, it's good to leave this option on Scrape All unless you want to save some space on your hard drive, then I would recommend possibly scraping without video content. Once you've made your choice, the next option you have is which gaming system you want to scrape. If you've set up Emulation Station, you will select all of them obviously. But why have this then? The answer to that is that you will most probably be adding new games to the system in the future. And this setting gives you the option to only select the system where the new games have been added and prevent Emulation Station from scraping everything all over again. So select all if this is your first time and then back out of the submenu. The last thing you want to do is go into the account settings and enter your username and password that you obtain when registering for your Screen Scraper account. Once you have entered this, all you need to do is back out of the main menu and press start. You have three other sections that controls the scraping settings in detail, but it is a bit beyond the scope of this video and the default settings on these sections will work just fine if this is your first time doing this. Once you hit that start button, your game data will be scraped one game at a time. This can take a few minutes if you have a few games, but if you're scraping a ROM library of thousands of games, it will probably take a few hours. So go to bed or watch a few movies while it is running. Once you're done, your games will look a whole lot better in each of the systems you have ROMs for, and you can show it off to your friends and family. Trust me, the images and videos on these will make your games look really awesome, and you will find that it takes you back to the days when you played these the first time around. A real nostalgic feeling. It almost makes me feel like I'm sitting in my parents' living room, playing my games on the old CRT TV again. So here is a link for my guide on how to get emulation stations set up easily by using Emudeck. And if you want to go and watch it, you can do that now as we are done. Enjoy your day and I will catch you in the next one.